Hello and welcome back to my show. I hope you're well. Let's talk some news. You guys, there's still a red flag warning that if we continue to have deposits and liabilities in the commercial banking system, this would create more money supply, quantitative easing, and access in bank reserves, which will equate to a bigger balance Fed sheet or bigger Fed balance sheet. A uh, recipe for disaster, Weimar 1922, hyperinflation or what financial analysts call the great inflation. And with that said, could Bitcoin play hero and save this economy? Stay tuned till the end to find out that answer for yourself. Let's go to Zero Hedge Headline, where they say Philly Fed explodes to highest since interest rates were 14%. Employment rose to 30% versus 25.3%. And inventory fell to 12% from 20%. This rapid inflation is already out of control as supply chains are broken and shortages on most goods from electronic equipment, transportation equipment, steel, wood, chemical products, textile mills, food, beverage, tobacco products. And I think I got it all there. Where uh, Matt, where we recently learned, but I told you, if this, if we continue on this point of no return with deposits and liabilities in commercial banks, we will be on the point of no return. As, uh, Lynn Alden, a financial analyst said, quote, since 2020, the money supply or currency units in the real economy has increased by 25% in just one year. Gammon and Alden believe at this rate, we're bound to have the CPI at 8%, consumer price index at 8%, where they believe that the real rate of, where they believe the real rate of inflation will go to 15% compounded over five years to a whopping 100% inflation. Weimar 1922, economic collapse, zero faith in the dollar and civil unrest. So zero hedge headline, is hyperinflation really a threat? With hyperinflation, we should be seeing a rise in earnings or wages. Unfortunately, we are not seeing it. As author Lance Roberts says, to have sustainable levels of inflation, wages must be increasing. But he notes, we've, we've seen wages decline since 1980. Based on his high inflation index, he says, the index clearly shows the inflationary pressures of the 70s, late 70s, which gives us a confidence level in the assumptions validity. For now, Roberts doesn't foresee inflation, but he does not rule it out, as he'll probably agree if I say that we aren't in hyperinflation just yet. Others are on board with financial gurus, uh, George Gammon and Lynn Alden, and they are the gold money staff. Where in Zero Hedge headline, they talk about this. The equity gold price conundrum part two. The great inflation. Gold money staff says this. Even with a staggering 5% annual GDP growth and 2% inflation, it would still take more than seven years to get there. They mean the great inflation. CNBC headline, but the feds want to play hero and they believe they can fix this, uh, this problem that's been on, going on for decades now, to say the least. And they could be right. CB, CNBC headline, quote, the Fed can fight inflation, but it may come at the cost of future growth. The tools, quote, to fight inflation means, quote, primary rate hikes. 
that could potentially plunge the U.S. into a recession in the early 1980s, stunting or halting economic growth. Now let's go to Bitcoin and whether it will save the day or save this economy drowning in quicksand. Zero headline, if Bitcoin didn't exist, we'd have to invent it. Author Mark Jet Jetovic says, if half of the capital fled negative, yielding debt, and that 10% moved into Bitcoin, it would push it over 100,000 buckaroonies. Good going for Bitcoin, yeah. And anyone who has it. Or considering investing in it. I am not an economics person. I'm not suggesting anything. You do it all at your own risk, people. Okay? Can't come after me. I'm not suggesting all I'm doing here is giving you the news. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. In this same article, uh, an author by the name of Jens Parsons was mentioned where their book, the name of it is Dying of Money. They had an interesting quote and looking to see if you will get the answer on whether Bitcoin will play hero for the economy and give it a pickup. This so read between the fine lines and see if it's somewhere there and whether other investments like what you hold, you own, gold, silver, precious metals, real estate, you name it. Quote, the seas of marks which had been stored up flooded forth and fought to buy into other investments, foreign currencies, tangible goods, almost anything but Marx, Germany's money printing industry could not turn out trillions to keep up. States, towns, and companies got into the act by insuring or issuing their own, quote, emergency money. Note Geld, which they believe is not money, but other currencies or cryptocurrencies. It's just not U.S. dollars or, or Germany marks. Barter became prevalent. Still, money grew scarcer while prices continued to soar. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you learned something. I did myself. I look forward to hearing you in my next video or reading your threads. Be blessed and peace out. And thanks again for watching. Bye.